There we go. I got him. Oh yeah. I got him in the tree. Oh, I got her, I got her, I got her. Oh my gosh. All right, boys and girls, the springtime fishing has been popping, and we're at a pond today that I am praying that these fish are on bed because if they are, we're gonna have an absolute tear at this pond. We're gonna be hitting a lot of different places today, traveling around, searching for these giants, and we're gonna go ahead and hop into it, guys. So the last time that we came out to this pond, we actually filmed a live bait video. By the way, if you guys wanna go check that out, you, you should. It was an insane video. We caught some massive ones. And that bird just scared the heck out of me. Holy cow. I didn't know what I was about to see, man. I thought that was gonna be <laughs> a big bass jumping out of the water. What in the world? Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'm ready to see a dang eight to 10 pounder now. Last time we went out fishing, we caught a five and a six and a half. And I think we have an opportunity today to hook one of those eight to 10 pounders now. Dude, I literally stopped my GoPro guys and I had one eat me, dude. <laughs> I literally stopped the GoPro. As I stopped it, I felt him go thump thump. Bro, that is unreal, man. Maybe that fish will bite here in a little bit. There is a ridiculous boil on the other side of this bridge and we have to go over here and throw at it. I'm talking a monster boil. Gosh, that was insane. We're gonna throw a couple up here. All right, we're gonna walk back over where we missed that fish. By the way, I didn't even talk about it. I got a mock crawl on a Texas rig. This is my favorite thing to throw in the springtime. Just a simple Texas rig with a crawl on it. If you guys wanna check out the new mock crawl, you can check it out on Tackle Warehouse. The link will be in my description box down below. Got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TVX Loose Combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below. The springtime's here, guys. The fishing's only gonna get better. So you guys should go get yourself a combo and get out and catch some big fish. But we're gonna go down this bank first. I think the pocket in this back corner is probably gonna be best, but this pocket back here could be ridiculous as well. Oh, big boy right there. Might have spooked that fish off. Dude, there's another boil. Maybe he's all the way up on that bed. Okay, hold on. This fish might be really territorial. Yeah, another boil. Look at that. I can't even see the fish. He got it. Oh, here we go. Fish 100% on bed. Look at him. Took one of my pinchers. This fish be biting so weird, man. Let's see if we'll eat it again. Come on, baby. Be aggressive for me. There she is. She took my crawl all the way. No. Hopefully that does not stop this fish from biting me. It's two bites from that one fish. And we got one that seems aggressive. Right here, baby. Come on. Dude, look at that big boil right there. Right there, dude, right there. This is it. That's a carp. Oh my gosh, man. I thought that was a giant bass. Oh gosh. There's a huge grass carp right there. That spooked me, I'm not gonna lie. I got him in the tree. He's stuck. He's stuck. Oh, come on. Oh my, dude, I, I don't know what to do here. He's still on. And I got him stuck inside that tree, guys. I don't know what to do here. And it seems like a pretty nice one. And that tree's just not moving. 
we're gonna have to figure out how to walk all the way around here oh my god yeah she's still hooked i think she's hooked pretty good i mean i don't even how do i maybe i go around this way hold on i can't even believe this man maybe if i go around this side i can get her to come off that tree oh i got her i got her i got her let's go dude oh my gosh we're skating her in dude straight up skating her in let's go dude not a big one man but that is sick holy cow what a way to catch our first fish of the day so i was over this tree on the other side of the bank and I, I, all i felt was pressure and i'm like i think this is a fish but i'm not sure all of a sudden i felt her pull back dude so i hooked it and she just got stuck in that tree pretty little male bass not a big one but that is a start to today's video and that was a hectic catch right there man thank you so much baby i'm glad i could get her out of that tree there she goes oh my goodness man what a catch to start off the video i was waiting this whole time guys and i'm like i can't believe i haven't caught a fish in this pocket i was like you know what we're gonna make a couple more casts across the bank and sure enough we got that puppy to bite good thing that i went on the other side of the tree and walked this way instead of trying to go in that mess because i got one i got a big one i can't tell if she's big or not i'm lying i'm a liar guys not a big one that is the smallest fish what in the world okay that's embarrassing that is embarrassing not a big one He's a little squirty. But that bank might be loaded, boys. There's two casts over there, and we got two bites. Beautiful fish, though. Look at that little green marking on them. Super pretty. Fat and healthy. All right, we are on the run, guys. We are getting some bites. All it took was a hectic fish catch to get the blood pumping, to get us moving, and to get these fish biting. And this is just the start, boys. It's about to get crazy something special about that bank over there i feel like we're about to get another one they are up there they're not big but they're up there and that second fish guys felt big as heck i don't know if i had them stuck in a tree i like hook set and i straight couldn't move them and for how small that fish is i don't even know how i could think that that was a good one he felt like it let me tell you Golly, we better get sniped again. <laughs> if you guys saw in one of the recent videos, I pulled my dang crawl out of a tree and I about got bopped now. Oh my gosh. A little too close for comfort, boys. All right, I'm kind of done fishing this pocket. We're going to walk up here and a few of those bites that we've got, we're going to fish and then we're just going to get onto the other side because that's where those big ones are going to be right now. All right, this is the area of the pond where I think it's going to turn up. Get ready for a fish, boys. Yep. He smoked that thing and started running. Just spit it out. Yeah, there's going to be a good bit of fish in this corner. It's prime. All I did was hit that thing one hard time. If I got to fish for this fish for a second, I will. They're not being ultra aggressive today as far as like if they see the, the bait on their bed, they're just eating it right away. Like there's no reason for that fish to hit it the way he just did and not hit it again. There we go. Get up here, boy. Another buck bass. We have not found those females yet, but at least we're catching some. Good little uh, high one pounder there. Right on the edge of that grass. It's a good thing I flipped right there because if I would've caught that other fish, this one probably wouldn't have bit. Beautiful colors on that fish. It's really healthy too, super fat. Thank you, buddy. Oh my, that was just, that was rude, man. That was rude. 
Well, there's fish number three, man. He was not happy. He gave me the perfect little tail swipe. Could be another one up on this grass. I'm hoping we find some of these big females, guys. I'm hoping they didn't pull off. Because everything that I'm witnessing now seems like a bunch of male bass biting. But, hey, let me tell you, it could... It can change. See this little grass patch on the left here? There should be fish bedding there. It's a prime spot. Yeah, he's got it. That's a better one, come on. That one's above two pounds. There we go, oh, about two. Oh, another buck bass, man. Another buck bass. It could be how this pond's setting up too, guys, but I'm not gonna make any bold statements without hitting this back pocket, but that's a pretty high one pounder right there. Another male bass though. There she goes, she was excited. We got an Okeechobee crawl right here. We got red and black on top, green pumpkin on the bottom. This is a fire color. Yeah, we're gonna fish this uh, whole grass edge out. And then we'll go back to that pocket. It's a little windy back there. That's the only thing. There's a lot of fish in this corner. Just hoping we see a female here. Oh, another male bass, man. I mean, she was right on bed around that corner. These big ones aren't pushed up right here in this pond. Mm-mm-mm. The most basic setups too. I mean, you look anywhere in between this grass. <clears throat> I've started to figure out how these fish want it. You just throw it up there. You don't do much. You just let it sit. You can wiggle it a little bit, but those fish are grabbing it and they're just walking it off the bed. That's all they're doing. Hence the why that fish didn't really get hooked. I mean, sometimes they don't have it all the way. They kind of just have the back of it. This spot's loaded. It's just, I don't know where the females are. That does not mean that the other ponds, females, are not pushed up. All these ponds fish different. And that's one thing you always got to keep in mind. You know, we can be at a pond today and they're on bed. You go to another pond, they're not even on bed yet. Or maybe the females are pushed up on another pond. You know, there, there's so many factors that play in. And, and a lot of these ponds are just fish different than, than each other. All right, boys and girls, we're at a new spot now. That first pond I was excited to fish, but it was just all male bass biting. I mean, the only fish that were pushed up were males. So we're going to try it out in this pond and see what we can get into. Hopefully we'll find some big females. We're just going to keep on hitting a bunch of different spots because I feel like the more places we end up hitting, we're going to find a pond where some big females are pushed up. No. Like a pretty good one right there. I got him. I got him. That was a sick eat, dude. Not a big one, but that was crazy. He was so aggressive. Let's go. That's the biggest one today. That's 100% a two pounder. Still a male bass, but that was such a sick eat, man. Beautiful fish there. Super healthy and fat. And there's another one right there. There's another one. That wasn't even the one. Oh my gosh, we're gonna put him back. That fish that swirled off the bank is literally sitting there and I can see him. Here we go. Here's our first sight fish of the day, guys. Right here, it's about to happen. Dude, she's literally just sitting there. Get ready, guys. We're about to catch this fish right here. This is what we live for in the springtime. Oh my gosh. No. Dude, I, try, I tried, I threw past her and I tried to put it right up in front of her. I think I see another fish on bed deep too. This is a perfect little corner, guys, with these cypress trees. It's picture perfect for some fish to be bedding on. I just can't believe that fish that we caught wasn't even the one that we spooked. What was that? Oh, she's pulling back up now. 
super skittish though. That one actually looks bigger than the first one I caught. Yeah, she's pulling back up. She locked. She was being a little squirmy. And she keeps pulling back up and I throw in there and she pulls right back off. I was hoping she was just gonna eat right away. I need to put a new crawl on. This one's a little messed up. That's sick. That's why you keep on moving ponds, guys. You know that that first one we were catching some males up on the bank. And this one, I mean, both these fish seem like males, but we can actually sight fish them. That's why it's good to just always move around and always be proactive. You know, it doesn't matter the time of year, but especially right now in the springtime, you know, if a pond's just not having it, just move spots, man. You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, she's right there, man. Oh, that's, dude, that fish looks pretty good, man. Yeah, she's bigger than that other one. Like, look how, ugh, she's so spooky, man, and she just keeps pulling up. You would think that the fish would get aggressive, but maybe she's just not because of that other fish. And to be honest with you, that could be a female. And the one I just caught could be the male. I think me catching that first fish definitely made this fish just get super spooky. Broke me off. Gosh, that's why we got a retie right there. Gosh, I can't believe that. It's a new fishing line too I put on yesterday. I just, I haven't retied today, man. And when you're getting these fish to eat it the way that we are, I mean, you got to retie. You have to retie. And I'll tell you, we were just fishing down this bank and these rocks uh, possibly freight our line there. Dang it, dude. I hate it worse because I hope that Hopefully that hook didn't get stuck in her mouth. Man, it broke me so clean. She finally ate, dude. Finally. This happened to be at the wrong time. Well, I mean, there's a possibility we can still catch her. She's still there. <laughs> she's, she's literally still there. If I catch her, I can get the hook out of her mouth. Who knows, it might not even be in there. Dude, she's just sitting there, dude. We can go back in there and try to catch her. I mean, it could have been a different fish that bit us. Right, she's so close to the bank. Dude, she's like out of the water. She's just sitting there. She's still interested in the bait. I don't see a hook in her mouth, by the way, guys. Unless she just got it so deep. I mean, I'd like to catch this fish. And if she does have a hook, just get it out. You know, I want to fish a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to have to come back for her. I don't think she has my hook, though. But that's a good thing. Unless it was just a different fish that broke me off. Cause that fish felt heavy. That one's definitely our biggest today, but when I hooked it, it felt so heavy. That fish is still up there, dude. There's two. There's two, and there's one coming up to me. Oh, there's three. Yeah, there's a lot of fish right here. We've only caught one. We broke one off. Oh, he's looking at it. He's actually looking at it. Oh, he's about to eat it. Come on. He doesn't like it. Oh, we're catching this fish. There she goes. She ate it. Got her. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it's a beautiful fish too. It's like a 30 pounder. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a nice one. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. He's got a couple. They're not too many, but have a good one. There we go, boys. This is the one that's been way up on the bank there. So I broke off one of the other fish. I actually saw three of them there. So if I had to guess, there's probably four fish that are bedding up on this bank. She got it good, man. She wasn't coming off. That's a good close to, it's a high two pounder, close to three. Definitely our biggest today. We finally got her to eat, man. <laughs> Let's go. Beautiful fish, man. Thank you for biting, baby. I was working on you for a minute. That is so much fun. Thank you. Can you go back? Here she goes. I still want to catch that fish that I broke off. Who knows? That, that could have been the one. I should have looked for hook marks. I wasn't even going to hit this pond, guys. Happened to have a random thought. I was like, you know what? We're gonna hit it. And that dude pulling up in the car, <laughs> he, was, he was surprised, man. He was like, oh my gosh. 
All right, guys. Yeah, we're gonna move. We're gonna leave those fish alone. Let them let them continue to do their thing. But that was sick. Two really good fish. Two good bites. And more importantly, we actually sight fished them. All right. Well, this is a pond you guys probably haven't seen on the videos in probably five years. I mean, it's been a very long time. I came out and hit this place about a year ago, and I don't know what was happening. But I wasn't getting any bites, almost like the fish died off or something. But I've decided to come out today and see if anything's changed. This spot used to be really good too, man. Had some monsters in it. I don't know what happened. I just have a hard time believing that this place is totally dead. Like there's just nothing in here. So we're gonna give it about 10 minutes. If we don't have any bites, we'll keep moving. I got a lot of spots in mind today. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I really didn't think there was fish in here guys, but I just got bopped. I was starting to give up on this place. I'm like, man, they must have really all died off. But that was a good bite. It was a prime spot back in the day right, right here. Such an awkward position right there. I think that was a bite, but I wasn't going to take no chances. Big and monster, dude. Monster. Let's go, dude. They're in here. It is a tank. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Stay pinned. Stay pinned for me. It is an absolute freak. Let's go. I haven't caught a big one all day. We come out here and that is just the best sign I could ever see, man. Good four pounder. I had her good too, man. <laughs> we might be on to something, boys. That might be a high three. I don't even know if she quite hits it. That's a freaking good fish, man. Let's go, baby. Thank you for biting, buddy. I really thought all the fish died off in here. We just got two bites in this pocket. That's a great sign. Oh my goodness. We might be on to something here, guys. Let's keep on casting in this corner. We might have just found something special. Dude, when I hook set that fish, guys, I couldn't even move her. Straight up, just hook set, couldn't move a lick. Let's go, boys. That's why you never give up. And you keep on punching away. After a couple casts in this pond, I was gonna leave. Happened to get a bite, threw back over under that tree and just caught our biggest fish of the day. And our size is getting better, guys. We're searching for these monsters today. And it's coming together. We're upgrading every pond that we go to. We're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this corner might be something special. I mean, that's two bites. I'm just more importantly, I'm glad that there's a fish in here, man. Like, I really thought this pond was done. I can't even believe I came out to it today, but I'm like, you know what? It's been a year and, and we're going to at least try it. Sure enough, there's still fish in here and there's probably a fish right where I just casted. That looks so good. I'm pretty sure I see a big fish right there. Dude, that's gotta be a big bass. It looks like a big bass. I don't know why she uh, didn't want to eat this. fact that I could see her in this dirty water. <laughs> Pretty crazy. She was way up in that pocket. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, that was right where I just caught that other fish, man. All right there. Oh, there you go. There we go. Another fish, guys. Not a big one. But a small little male bass. Pretty markings on it, but not the size we're looking for. But I appreciate the bite, buddy. I appreciate it. There we go. That's our second fish in here. Third bite. She was right up on that little crevice where that grass is. 
Woven was happening in this pond. I didn't expect anything. I was going to try it, and we're putting together a decent little deal here in this pocket. And we fished that whole lane to that corner, but we didn't fish this side. So once we fish this corner out, it might not be a bad idea to run over there. This pond's fishing a little different than what we were doing earlier. You know, we were in some pretty clear water bed fishing. Now we're in some chocolate milk, possibly bed fishing. I can't tell you if they're on bed or not. And there was a big boil over there where I cast it. I need to get a little further. I feel like, you know, this corner with all these trees is money, but then you got this whole grass edge. I feel like if you get the right cast, you can get bopped. Right there. It's right where he swirled. Oh, no, dude. No, 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 no. That felt like a freaking monster. So there's some concrete right here, guys. I was popping over the concrete, and all of a sudden, he just destroyed it. I just happened to not have him all the way. Gosh. All right, we need to hunker in right here. That one actually felt like a big fish. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to walk all the way over here and start throwing on that grass and get bites. So I didn't expect to get slammed right up in this. There we go. Right on that concrete. I don't think that's the one that bit me the first time. But they might be loaded here. Holy cow, what did we find guys? There's three fish in this pond now. That is the tiniest one. We are on to something here. Just got to bite a couple casts before. And we're moving. Let's keep on throwing. There's like big concrete blocks in the water here. And I'm feeling it. I'm hopping in the crawl right over them. I started to feel them about 15 foot back there. So maybe this whole stretch might be pretty good. Just walk back a little bit. I'll cover some of this water. There's two bites on that concrete. Another small one. I think it's tiny. Smallest fish of the day. They're on this concrete right here. I'm just so happy that these fish seem healthy. It's a breath of fresh air right there, man. I am mind blown at the amount of fish right here. Pretty crazy, man. Now, I literally walked over here to fish this corner. And I just can't stop fishing this concrete here. I mean, there's loaded. I feel like it's a matter of time before a dang five pounder hops on us. There we go. Golly, dude. They're just stacked up. Did not think this pond was gonna be the one that was stacked with them today. Straight up loaded. Dude, I mean, they're just stacked. That one's a little better. Not a big one. That one's a little better. I mean, that one had it before it even, before I started hopping it. Pretty one. Little pounder. So pretty much to show you guys how I'm working this, you know, all those concrete blocks there. You also have a grass edge. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this Texas rig, throwing it out there, let it hit the bottom. And I'm just slightly popping it just like this. So all I'm doing is making contact with that concrete and popping it right off. So if we let that bait sit too long and get in those crevices, you know, we'll end up getting hung up and breaking off. So all I'm doing is slightly moving it. I'm not working it slow at all. And these fish are just reacting to it. You know, they see this thing come by their face with those little legs flapping on the crawl and they're just straight up eating it. What is that? Looks like a snail. That's where I was hoping to get a bite. Let's see if there's one under here. Looks so good. Oh. Dude, really? 
That is unfortunate. That sucks, man. Come on. Well, say goodbye to this pond, guys. I want to make some more casts, but we did some work here. Caught one really good one. Caught a bunch of other small fish, but I say that's a success. Let's keep on moving. Alrighty, at another spot. Let's see what we can get after in here, man. See if we can find us some big old girthy girls. The whole moral of the story today is those big fish from a couple days ago seem to be pulled off now. There seems to be a lot of male bass. I mean, almost every single spot has been pretty much males that we've been catching. We've caught a few females like that last spot. I mean, we caught that good one that was close to four pounds, but one, I don't even think she was on bed. And two, it wasn't like an absolute freak of a female that we're looking at. There's a boil right there. So shady in this corner. So shady, I can't see nothing. Dude. Okay, that was a big one on bed. Hold on. Dang. Wish the sun was out right here. Probably would have been able to see that fish. See how easy she got spooked too? Dude, oh my gosh, there's so many boils. Dude, they're actually on that grass. That means we need to throw down this bank really good here. We can let this fish pull back up here in a second. Might be able to catch them. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. How about send him to another universe? Poor guy. This is a future lunker. Look at this bad boy, man. <laughs> Gosh. It felt like I just pulled up my crawl. I didn't even feel like there was a fish on there. Well, that's officially the smallest fish in a long time. Probably my smallest fish all year. <laughs> what was that, man? <laughs> Oh, they'll sit him to the moon so you know that last pond we were fishing had some concrete this one actually does two coming up here might be able to do the same deal we were doing in that pond and get get bit pretty good there's just so much nasty slop up, up on the bank it's hard for me to fish any of it That feels like a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's our biggest one today, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Gosh. Second biggest. She ain't as big as that other one. That thing smoked it. Dude, I threw that crawl right in there and she ate it right off those rocks instantly. Beautiful fish, man. I might get lucky with some more bites here. Thank you, buddy. Holy cow, that was sick. <laughs> 